Greetings, YouTube. We found the helo that removed Trevor Jacob's airplane. I am 90% sure that this is the aircrafts that removed the airplane. We can see its flight track data from the ADS-B broadcast, which stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. In layman's terms, this is the GPS data that's submitted to the ground control station for the recovery aircraft that flew into the area. It flew in on December 10th, which is just about 14 days after the crash, right into this location. And it's the only aircraft I can find in the data set that is flown in this region. I can't find any other aircraft that's been in there. That's uh, a helicopter in the month of December. So I think it's safe to say this aircraft was removed by this specific helicopter. We can see that it went in there for about three hours. It's not the perfect data set, but it's pretty good enough. We can also see it's right in the region uh, where the plane crashed. This aircraft took off at Paso Robos municipal airport, flew to the crash site, was there for about three hours, and then flew back. That's basically what we can see on this track. Uh, I'm guessing this helicopter dropped the airplane off outside of the Los Padres forest area on a road system with a paved road where they could move the plane to a vehicle and transport it to another location. So a few other things we want to check out is Let's look a little deeper into the model of this helicopter, make sure it's capable of lifting this airplane. So this is an AS-350 Eurocopter. Its original nationality is out of France, first produced in 1975. There's around 3,600 of these built and they're a very multi-purpose aircraft. You can absolutely carry loads of the weight of the Taylor P-40. You can put airbags on the floats. Uh, one was even used to land on top of Mount Everest in 2005. So again, this is a very capable aircraft for this type of mission. So it makes sense that this was the type of aircraft that was used for the recovery of the plane crash. In a lot of ways, it's a really good all-around helicopter. You could use it for tourist flights, hauling, lifting, all sorts of things. So it really is the chameleon of helicopters. And again, all this kind of fits with our timeline and theory for the recovery process. So just talking through our timeline one more time. November 24th, Trevor Jacob crashes his plane in Los Padres National Forest. December 10th, he hires a company to fly an Eurochopper AS350 helicopter into the municipality to recover the crashed plane. December 25th, about two weeks later, he posts the video on the internet. In this film titled, I Crashed My Plane, we watch him parachute out of his 1940 Taylor craft at about 9,000 feet and then watch his own plane crash in Los Padres. The Wikipedia page for this helicopter is linked in the description below and there's some pretty neat specifications on here. We can see that it has a crew of one, capacity of five persons, and it has a, quite a bit of carrying capacity in terms of its haul weight. There's also been some notable crashes most recently, uh, spring of 2021, a billionaire from Europe crashed on a glacier. 
in Alaska. Uh, sadly, he didn't make it and nobody else in the aircraft made it. Finding the ADSB data for this flight was pretty exciting because it really does solidify our narrative within the timeline of the case. And we got to learn about this cool new helicopter that's very, very capable for all sorts of applications. So firefighters use them to haul water, haul crew, and move equipment, as we can see here. They're quite capable and maneuverable. A solid crew can move a lot of gear very quickly with this type of aircraft. Here's another shot of the same model helicopter lifting up construction equipment for a road embankment project somewhere in Europe. The automatic dependent surveillance broadcast data page shows that this aircraft is registered to a company in Paso Robles, California, Stinson Helicopters, and they offer lifting services for situations like airplane recoveries in Los Padres National Forest. In any case, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around.